Come on! Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most memorable times that a host made their scene partners laugh. You know what? Number 10, cut for time, date in Mexico. Fans of 90 Day Fiancé will appreciate this crazy premise, but they should also stick around for some quality breaking. You want to see one of just the bod? Oh, no. It's... Check that out, right? As Will Ferrell's character reveals that his girlfriend isn't coming, Cecily Strong starts to crack. The first time might be subtle, but there's an undercurrent of laughter that finally bursts. You two should have these. <laughs> Strong really can't contain herself as Farrell brings out a pair of candy panties. With absurd lines and her co-star's crazed performance, she drops the act and tries to hide her chuckling. Then don't think of them as panties, all right? Think of them as regular candy. I only wore them once. The former cast member takes a detailed script and makes it even wilder with each moment. After having to watch a legend shovel down lobster meat, you'll probably be giggling too. Oh, you're not supposed to eat the shell. Well, I don't know that! Number 9. Super Showcase Spokesmodels Sometimes a sketch is even better when things go wrong. You'll be golfing all day and leaving before dinner. Go to see a pebble beach! Host Maya Rudolph joins this skit to reveal showcase prizes, but spends most of the time laughing with Kristen Wiig. Chickens and other golf accessories cause the two to crumble along with their hilarious accents. Bill Hader can't even contain himself as the segment continues. The laughter becomes so contagious, the scene partners can barely read their lines. Stop! I can't stop! That's a gap! Rudolph is arguably the best at staying afloat, making sure that Wig and Hader are giggling until the end. She causes more chuckles and dodges a golf cart by the end of this comic masterpiece. That was supposed to happen. Number 8. Weekend Update, Stefan on St. Patrick's Day. It wouldn't be a Stefan skit without some amount of breaking. Thank you so much for joining us, Stefan. Connor, Percy. When he came back to host, Bill Hader made sure to return with his beloved update correspondent. New York's hottest Irish club is off to church, mother! This time, the travel expert talks about St. Patrick's Day while also cracking up Michael Che and Colin Jost. Hater can't escape the laughter either, looking surprised by his crazy script. This place has everything. Young popes, old popes, <laughs> Roman J. Israel. <laughs> the sassy segment doesn't skimp on memorable moments as the co-hosts giggle throughout. After all of the comically bad advice, these three comedians are definitely enjoying themselves. With a former SNL legend eager to please, this sketch is unforgettable for its loose and fun energy. Fun, everyone. Down Number 7. Benny Hanna. Channeling childlike menace, Jonah Hill doesn't disappoint with his kid acting. My name is Adam Grossman. I'm six years young. He's paired up with Leslie Jones's nanny in a sketch set at a Benny Hanna. Hill doesn't hold back either singing tunes from Bob Marley that make his scene partner lose it. I am not from Jamaica. I shot the sheriff, <laughs> but me do not shoot that death. He had given me nothing here. It feels like pulling teeth without a string. It's so outrageous that you'll probably laugh along with her. Jones needs a few moments to catch her breath as her co-star keeps throwing jokes her way. Here's some marriage advice for you. Don't do it! <laughs> The Oscar-nominated actor makes the skit that much better by breaking his fellow performer, pushing the envelope with his bold musical choices. He'll make you wish that you were at an actual restaurant table watching it all happen. I love one time. I'm Number 6. New Girlfriend Dinner parties can be strange sometimes, but an evil guest can really send them over the top. Fred Armisen takes this concept and runs with it. Very, very sorry we were late, but uh, but here she is. The, isn't she great? <laughs> Thanks for having us. I'm Regine. Testing his co-star's limits, the lead performer spreads out along a couch and into the personal space of multiple people. Watch this. Vanessa Bayer and A.D. Bryant both have moments where they have to break in the face of pure chaos. Watch what happens when I tickle her behind her knee. Here, give me that. Come here. Come here. 
marry you. Uh. Armisen's brave performance proves that nothing is sacred, even dipping his shoes in the food. Yeah, there it is. His co-stars eventually laugh as they come face to face with an unstoppable force. You would be losing it too if you had a talented comedian stretching his legs on top of you. Okay, is there any more food? I need to get something down my throat to fight what is coming up. Number 5. Weekend Update – Gumby Returns Having been away from the show for decades, Eddie Murphy managed to return to host SNL in top form. Yeah, it's Gumby! They know who the hell it is! I'm Gumby, damn it! He brought back characters like Gumby for a fun-filled weekend update segment. This includes making co-hosts Colin Jost and Michael Che laugh. All right, Gumby, Gumby, just calm down. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, trailer boy. <laughs> Having to insult the update presenters, Murphy himself stumbles through lines in the most hilarious way possible. How'd you even get this job? What you win a radio contest or something? <laughs> Each flub makes for more laughter as Jost and Che chuckle alongside the comedic legend. With his unique comic energy, this host can both bring back a beloved role and have his co-stars in stitches. It's also nice to see an icon slip up on live TV. Right, all right, I'll go. Number four, career day. With the intensity of Adam Driver, this funny sketch becomes something more than a typical scene. Greetings, children. I'm Mordecai's father. Hello, boy. The lead performer gets so crazed that co-star Pete Davidson has to break character. Driver plays an oil baron who's both ruthless and eager to yell for emphasis. Now what does an oil baron do? The answer? Crush your enemies! <laughs> Grind their bones into dirt! Make them regret they were ever born! After the host starts to dig into the role, Davidson really loses it after the dramatic actor stabs a bird. Forcing his co-star to hide his smile, the guest host stays in character like a true professional. The unpredictable nature of the writing only makes it much harder to stop from laughing. I wanna be you when I grow up! Number 3. Girlfriend's Game Night When you see Bill Hader show up as an old man in a wheelchair, you know something is coming. Chris, be careful! God, you are being such a dude right now. Men, how do we, ladies? He stars as the elderly husband of Cecily Strong's character, which brings tons of awkwardness to this skit. When the opportunity strikes, Horace and his wife try to get pregnant in a laugh-inducing moment. Don't worry, I have this courtesy blanket so you won't see anything. Hater's ability to maneuver the chair around also causes chaos as he fails to avoid his co-stars. This starts a chain reaction of breaking that includes Strong, Melissa Villasenor, and the host himself. You know what? You should be ashamed of yourselves. This works. Hater's scene partner manages to hang on and remain on the vehicle until the end. Mixing danger and hilarity, this sketch lets the guest performer take the reins and make hilarious mistakes. <laughs> Number 2. Close Encounter After three people come to describe their experience with aliens, it's clear that one of them has had a much different encounter. It was amazing and I cried, sir. Hey, and you, Miss Rafferty? Wow. <laughs> what floor were you guys on? Kate McKinnon's character then goes on tangents that turn her co-stars to mush. We were uh, gray with big fat eyes, little mouths. They just uh, stared while I peed. <laughs> I don't think I was dealing with the top brass. Host Ryan Gosling giggles his way through most of the sketch, eventually sending co-stars like A.D. Bryant and Bobby Moynihan down with him. Did y'all get the knocker stuff? Uh, no, no knocker stuff, sorry. <laughs> and did you feel threatened, Ms. Rafferty? Gosling's contagious laughter takes a fantastic skit and arguably takes it to the next level. After a while, the entire thing feels like a big party that's punctuated by strategic camera shots that find almost everyone breaking. This doesn't discount the work of McKinnon that throws the host for a loop. Tell me about God. What's God's deal? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Uncle Ben. Dave Chappelle breaks the fourth wall and makes Pete Davidson break. Big old fat lips. Seriously. Mary. Look at Pete Davidson's lips. New Wife. Larry David makes Cecily Strong laugh in the finale of this absurd sketch. 
The club is overrun with thirsty <laughs> thirsty bottom feeders, you know. Whiskers are we with Kristen Wiig. With so many unpredictable cats, Kristen Wiig ends up throwing Kate McKinnon for a loop. That is my nipple, and I think you know that. I think I know you like it. Oh, boy. Reality stars. Will Ferrell and Cecily Strong cause chaos and laughter as terrible house guests. I am a red-blooded American boy, after all. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Matt Foley at the Gym During his one and only hosting job, Chris Farley brought back Matt Foley for an exercise class. My name. Probably you don't know me as Matt Foley, and I am a motivational speaker. The comedian dives back into his character and finds enough energy to trip up his fellow performers. You're gonna be our fitness instructor? Listen, hard body, I don't give a rat's behind! Once he climbs onto the bike, he almost sends some cast members early on in the skit. Farley has the natural chops to make almost anybody laugh with this iconic role. You cannot be serious. I just wish you two dolls would bring it down a notch! Once he dumps the coffee on himself, he causes Tim Meadows and Jim Brewer to hide their smiles. The host isn't even in top form and still manages to break the people around him. I gotta move it on into karate class, Evan. Did we forget another time that a host broke a cast member? Let us know in the comments. So, uh, anyway, I, 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 I guess I had two bones. <laughs> That's so crazy. What are Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.